So uh, I've got the uh, one gable log to do at the other end, and then uh, two more purlins, and then one more gable end log, and then my peak piece, and uh, once I get it in place, I can't go any higher.
Well, now, that was a bit of a grunt, to say the least. Anyway, I've got about five minutes of daylight left, and um, so timely. We've got the last one up, and uh, it's spruce, and it's a bit bigger, particularly at the other end. Uh, probably weighs about two and a half times what my cedar purlins weigh, but uh, it's up, it's in place. I'll leave it till tomorrow when I've got some daylight to notch it. And then uh, I'm off to rafters and then sheety. So I finished uh, installing the last of the roof rafters on the interior of the gable ends. Uh, and we, we try to uh, portray, when we do our living history, the, the middle 1700s and pretty much everything we do from clothes to accoutrements. So I may have taken my first free license here. Um, the rafters have some rough sawn pine that I uh, spiked to the top of them. We did look at a, a cabin, there's a log cabin about a mile from here uh, that was built in 1840 and it was built this way. Now whether or not they did this in 1740, I don't know, but it just seemed practical. I don't know whether it was to add strength to the rafters, whether it was to ease the, the nailing of the sh roof sheeting, um, or, or to just speed things up. But anyway, it just seemed like a good idea, so we've done that here today. So what I'm at now is finishing, I have to have for my overhang, I have to have two more rafters on each side, uh, two at this end, two at that end. And the gap you see here, uh, and the reason the main beams cut off flush here, is this is where our stone chimney will come up once we get our open hearth fireplace built. That'll have to wait till spring. So enough talking, I should get at some work. <laughs>
Okay, so that uh, is one down, three more to go, and uh, lots of space for the chimney. Tomorrow morning, should be uh, starting to sheet it. We've got our our pine tree off to the mill and the woods back, and uh, yeah, hopefully the sheeting should go fairly quickly. 